Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video we will be covering the Season 13 trailer and the lore connected with it. Seeing as I have no new cassettes or maps with this season, this trailer is really all we have lore-wise, and I have waited this long to do anything with it due to the poor release of Season 13 and me really wanting to focus more on that rather than the lore side of the game. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. <laughs> Starting off with the beginning of the trailer, we see a character being apprehended by Soviet soldiers. This character is dressed in FIA apparel and is apparently named John Anderson. Afterwards, he is placed before a bunch of TVs. An unknown figure then knocks on the door before placing a bomb on the door. A few seconds later, the bomb goes off and our main character is able to escape the facility. He runs through this facility and then runs through the Outlands in a bunch of cut shots that show off the new gun and new consumables before ultimately falling on the ground in the Meadow Valley in Falkenden. It is at this moment that Dr. Asimov appears in a storm of rads and extends a helpful hand. So what does this all mean? Well to start, Asimov is alive, meaning that despite Adam being pretty much assumed to have been sent to kill him, we can assume that once again Adam has failed. I mean we kind of could assume this beforehand because Adam does get knocked out by Freya at the end of the season 11 cassettes, but we now have certainty that Asimov did not get killed by Adam at the end of the season 12 cassettes. Um, next, we can assume that Anderson and the FIA, as well as Asimov, have some level of cooperation with each other, seeing as the FIA are likely the people who broke Anderson out, and Asimov is ultimately the person that receives Anderson after his long journey. As well as the fact that Asimov, while being enemies with NATO and ARC, also by being in association with the FIA, is enemies with the Soviet remnants as well. Finally, Asimov's appearance in a storm of rads could mean that Asimov's experiments have made him immune to the radiation, mainly due to the regeneration program that he talks about during his experiments in Season 12. In conclusion, Asimov and the FIA are seen to be a new third faction in the Outlands, well really fourth if we consider the Church. They are enemies with both Soviets and ARC. Asimov may be immune to radiation, and once again, Adam has failed to do a simple task. But really, that's all I've got for you guys this today, and really with this whole season as well. Season 13 doesn't offer much lore-wise, and this is probably all the new lore we will have until season 14 releases. So, until then, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.